Shalom. First of all, giving all praises, glory, and honor to the Heavenly Father and His Son, Yahweh Shem Yahushua Brachita. Double honors to the elder apostles, a great millstone, and much love, peace, and blessing to all your elect brothers out there that's pushing this truth across the four corners of the globe. This is the brother not by Ayash with another episode to get your mind right. Today we're going to be dealing with the scripture of uh, Isaiah chapter 12. Actually, the whole chapter. It ain't number like uh, six verses, but it's powerful. These, these are six powerful verses in, the, in this short chapter in the book of Isaiah. It's Isaiah 12 starting at 1. It says, And in that day thou shalt say, O Lord, I will praise thee. What day is it talking about? When all hell break loose. When there's total chaos and mayhem in the streets of America. See what I'm saying? Across, and, and of course, other parts of the world. But it's mainly talking about what? Here in America. When martial law breaks out. In the time of Jacob's trouble. That's why I say in that day that I shall say, O Lord, I will praise thee. Because that's when, that's when people are going to start calling on the name of the Lord. When they see total chaos. When they look outside their do, they door and they see their neighbor house getting broken into. Or seeing their neighbor getting raped. Or seeing their neighbor getting their face blown off. And then you, you see somebody trying to turn on your doorknob, trying to get into the house. That's when people is going to start calling on the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That name is going to come back into their memory when they start catching hell. Because right now, people ain't calling on the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Why? Because their life is good. Just like you sell out Israelites. You see what I'm saying? Like IUIC or I ISUPK. See what I'm saying? Or HODC or FOPI. Because you ain't always got to take money to sell out. You can sell out spiritually. By what? By not calling on the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Or teaching perverse doctrines. Like what? The Syrophoenician woman is a heathen. See what I'm saying? Or teaching that the mark of the beast is an embargo or Christianity. Or teaching that don't nobody know the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That is blasphemy or a sin if you speak on that name. See what I'm saying? And it says what? I will, uh, it said, though thou was angry with me, thine anger is turned away and thou comfortest me. How is the Lord comforting us with the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of this book right here, the Bible? Even though the Lord was angry with us, now his anger is turned away. Why? Because we come back to our nationality of knowing who we are. We know we Israelites now. You see what I'm saying? We doing what? Following the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability. We know we not waiting on all hell to break loose for us to call on the name of Yahweh by Shimia Bashai. I know how important that name is. Cause right now, hell, the Lord about to come at any time. And guess what? These demons have been amplified to a thousand watts. You see what I'm saying? Why? Cause, cause the Lord about to come back and destroy this place. And Satan don't want the elect to be sealed. So he trying everything he can to come against you. Whether you out there on the highways and byways and you getting attacked by demons or are you physically getting attacked by demons or are you getting attacked in your own household by your wife or your children or your job you see what I'm saying why because all hell is about to break loose the Lord is testing your faith to see if you really believe in him or you just uh faking the funk just going through the motions it says uh verse 2 behold the most high is my salvation I will trust and not be afraid. That's right. Just like the scriptures say, uh, Yahweh Bashim Shai has not given us the spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a sound mind. And then the scriptures also tell us if the most high be for us, who could be against us? So why should you be afraid out here? You see what I'm saying? You was going all out doing your wickedness. You weren't scared to do your wickedness. So why should you be scared to do your righteousness for Yahweh Bashim Shai's sake? Why should you be scared to stand up for the name of Yahweh by Shimei Shai? See what I'm saying? A lot of you brothers in this truth really don't even believe in Yahweh by Shimei Shai. You're just going through the motion. Why? Because it seemed like a fad to you. Or, or, or it seemed cool to you. No, nah, man, this is a matter of life and death. See what I'm saying? The Lord is building his army full of righteous and real soldiers, man. That's willing to lay down their life for their brother. But a lot of you don't are scared to do that. You scared to just you scared to call the white man a devil. So how is you gonna give your life up for your house by Shimia Shai? 
Reading on it says, for the Lord Yahweh. See, there go the name right there. That's how important it is to teach our people the name, man. That's why you got niggas like Nate Satan that's not teaching the name. Why? Because he's steady leading the people astray because he took that Judas purse, man. It's bad enough we got the white man leading our people astray, but then you got two-third wicked niggas that's following the same route as, as Esau, the so-called white man. That's why Yahweh said, ye yeah, are of your father the devil. Why? Because you love living in wickedness. You love lying. You love murdering. You love being deceitful, just like, just like your wicked daddy, the white man, Esau. It says, for the Lord, Yahweh is my strength and my song. That's why we go, and this is the song right here, the scriptures. That's why we go out here and sing this song every weekend on the highways and byways. That's why we do these sit down singing this song of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Why? Because we love our, sa our Savior, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. We love our Heavenly Father and our Big Brother because we know that's why our deliverance is coming. You see what I'm saying? It's from who? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And it says, He also is become my salvation. See? There we go. What does the word Yahweh Shah mean? He is deliverer or He is Savior. Meaning what? That's our salvation. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's the name we got to call on to get what? Delivered up out of here. But you got to have faith that was given to you by who? The Heavenly Father and His Son. Because see, everybody can't call on their name and get delivered. Why? Because some of them are set up to be destroyed. That's why you have to pray for mercy. You see what I'm saying? That's why you have to pray for, for more grace. That's why you have to pray for more faith. You see what I'm saying? That's why you have to pray to see if you're of that number. So you can be delivered about this hellhole, man. You see what I'm saying? Why? Because you have faith and believe in the name of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And this world knows the power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. That's why when you go a lot of places, demons stare at you. That's why when you go a lot of places, demons come out and, uh, and attack you. Why? Because they know what? You are a child of who? Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. They know the power in their name. That's why sometimes demons get so riled up when you come around them, they hurry up and run off. Why? Because they know you got the, the spirit and power of who? Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai in your blood. See what I'm saying? In your body, in this flesh. That's who's protecting you. That's who's guiding you. That's whose words that we speak in is the words of who? Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. That's why it's important, why? To call on their name, man. I don't care what situation. I didn't hear brothers tell me about dreams they didn't had. I didn't had dreams too with demons try to choke me out of my sleep. Other brothers been pinned down by demons. And guess what? What name did they call on? Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Not Amin Ra. Not Sutek. Not the Dead Sea Scrolls. Not the Metaneta. Not Jesus Christ. You see what I'm saying? Not Christ. Not uh, Yehoshua or Yahshua or Yahweh. No. They called on the name of who? Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. They didn't call on uh, Isis, Horus, or Seth. No, they called on who? Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. And that demon left. It says what? Therefore, with joy shall ye draw water out of the wells of salvation. Okay, how you draw joy out of the water of the wells of salvation? What is that water out of the wells of salvation? This is the wells of salvation. What is that water? The word of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Like it tell you in John 7, 38, he that believeth on me, as the scriptures have says, meaning the wells that's holding the water, out of his belly, meaning his mind, shall flow rivers of what? Water. Which is what? The knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. But how do you get that? By trusting on the name, having faith in who? Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. It says, verse 4, and in that day, what day is it? When all hell break loose, the day of Jacob's trouble. And in that day, ye, uh, shall ye say, praise the Lord. Why? Because the elect, we're going to be sitting back praising the Lord. Lord willing, I'm, a, I'm of that number, as well as my other 143,000 brothers out there. We're going to be sitting back rejoicing and praising who? Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. The Lord said, what? He going to laugh at your calamity. How is he going to laugh at your downfall and your destruction through his men? Lord willing, I'm one of them. You see what I'm saying? 
And it said, and in that day shall you say, praise the Lord. Praise who? Praise Yahweh by Shem Shai. Call upon his name. See how important that word name is? That word name is mentioned several times in this Bible, man. If it wasn't important, why, why is that word name steady being brought up? You see what I'm saying? That's how important it is to call on who? Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And it ain't talking about just call on the word of God, Nate. It's actually talking about calling on his name, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. See, that's you out there teaching that false doctrine, man. Because how in the world are you going to call on just name and be delivered? It's not going to happen. Oh, save me, mighty name. That's not going to happen, man. You have to do what? You have to call on the name of who you have faith in, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. But a lot of Nates men don't have faith. That's why they don't call on the name. That's why they call us what? The faith-based Israelites. That's what they call uh, GMS. Why? Because we do base everything on what? Faith. Yeah, we keep the laws also, but what? It's our faith that's going to get us delivered up out of here. I'm trying to find that piece of paper I got written with a couple of notes on there. See if I can find it right quick. Okay, here we go. The water you have by Shimmy I was shy. Now, let me show you how important the name is of you how by Shimmy I was shy. Just the word name itself is mentioned in this Bible 934 times. Almost a thousand times in this book right here. That's how important the name is. See what I'm saying? That, and that's and that's a lot. That's a whole lot to be in a book for it to be insignificant. The word name is mentioned 934 times in this Bible right here. So if the name didn't matter, then why is the word name in this book so many times? Talking about the name of who? Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Reading on it says, call upon his name, declare his doings among the people. And that's what we're doing. We, we declaring his doings among the people. How? Breaking down the scriptures the right way through the correct doctrine of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. We reading about his wonderful works. We telling about our own testimonies in life too that Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah has done for us. And it says what? Make mention that his name is exalted. See, they got the word name again. That his name is exalted. When you, when you exalt somebody's name, what you do? You lift it up on high. So what do we do? We lift the name of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah on high above any other name out there on the, on the planet. Why? Because his name is worthy to be exalted. That's what give you your breath. That's what give you your life. That's who put the thoughts in your head. It's who? Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. That's who control your every step. Like I tell you, man goings are of the Lord. How can a man understand his own way? We can't. Why? Because Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. The name that's meant to be exalted and worthy to be praised, he the one that controls our step. We the one playing our role in his movie. Who movie? Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. It said, sing unto the Lord. That's what we do every day. Whether we sign and cry, we still singing unto the Lord. It says, sing unto the Lord, for he hath done excellent things, and he has. By what? Giving you this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the Bible. That's the most excellent thing he has ever done for us, man. Giving us what? Our nationality. Telling us who we are. You know what I'm saying? Letting us know the what? We the greatest people ever created on this planet, man. That's something worth doing a backflip for. If I could do a backflip, I would. But I can't, man. It says what? Singing to the Lord, for he had done excellent things. This is known in all the earth. The whole earth knows about the power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. They know about Allah Shaja. They seeing it now. They seeing the, the terrible power of Allah Shaja right now. Why? Because a lot of people are dying. It's even a lot of people around this neighborhood that's dying. That's falling like flies. Why? Because they turn their back on who? Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. The name that's worthy to be exalted above any other name on this planet, man. They turn their back on Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Now they reaping the benefits of what? 
death and destruction. Usalakia of death and destruction. Why? Because they turn their back on the Heavenly Father and His Son. Keep reading it. Verse 6, it says, cry out and shout. And that's what we do every weekend on the highways and byways. That's what we do on, the, on these videos. What We do like he commanded us in Isaiah 58 and 1. Cry aloud and spare not. And that's what we're doing now. It says, cry out. So that's what we're doing. Cry out and shout. Thou inhabitant of Zion. Who is Zion? That's Israel. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. We the monument of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh it says, For great is the Holy One of Israel in the midst of thee. So who is the midst of us right now? The spirit of who? Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. That's who's in the midst of Israel, of the elect of Israel, is who? Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Because the people, the ones that's in the midst of the two thirds is who? Satan. That's who in the midst of them. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai is not dealing with the two thirds of our own people. The Negroes, Latino, and Native American, and the show ain't dealing with the heathens. So you how about Shimmy Shah is what? Is in the midst of his men, the elect. Lord willing, I'm one of those men. That's why I come out here every weekend and every week to try and edify the brotherhood through the spirit and power, you how about Shimmy Shah. I come out here and cry out. See what I'm saying? I'm pouring out my 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 soul and spirit to who? You how about Shimmy Shah. For all the wickedness that's been done in this, this captivity known as America, aka Babylon, aka Sodom and Gomorrah, aka Egypt. See what I'm saying? The land of the wicked, the, the land of, of confusion, the land of bondage. See what I'm saying? Because why? I have faith in who? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's who I love. So, all you people out there that's not calling on the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you better start. So you can get delivered about this hell hole if you are of the elect. See what I'm saying? If not, well, you just destined for destruction. That's your lot. Why? Because you don't want to follow the law, and the commandments of you. How about Shimei was shot? Yeah, it's kind of hard, but guess what? It's worth it. It's worth the sacrifice. It's worth the struggle. See what I'm saying? It's worth fighting off these demons and this temptation that's out, out here in this world. Why? Because you got a, a bigger crowd and a greater reward coming to you if you endure until the end. That's why I pray that the Lord keep the spirit on me to endure until the end. That he don't take his, uh, his spirit away from me. That he keep my lamp filled with his oil, man. Why? Because I love doing what I do. I love the, the spirit and zeal that he put on me to continue doing what I do. Teaching lessons. Going out on the highways and byways, offering my body up as a living sacrifice, getting attacked mentally and physically by these demons. Why? To prove myself worthy to you, how about Shimmy Shai, that I would literally die for him. See what I'm saying? It's one thing to say that you would die for him, but it's another thing to actually put your life on the line to die for you, how about Shimmy Shai. That's why the scripture said there's no greater love than for a man to lay down his life for his brother. So I'm willing to lay down my life for my big brother. You see what I'm saying? If it came down to it. And you brothers should have the same mind frame, man. Of course, everybody want to get delivered up out of here without any scratches or bruises. But if it came down to you, are you willing to die for the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah? Just think about that and ask yourself that question. You see what I'm saying? With that, all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone and much love to all you elect brothers out there that's pushing this truth across the four corners of the globe. Hey, Kwam Yasha Allah, Kwam Bakar, get your mind right, Shalom.